Welcome all our viewers on Arras News English, where we share with you latest news of South Azerbaijan community. South Azerbaijan national civil activist Musa Sudi was released after seven months of imprisonment. According to Arras News Agency, Musa Sudi, South Azerbaijan national activist, was released last week after seven months in prison. While this national activist was in prison, he constantly petitioned for re-evaluation of his case. But ignored by the Iranian officials, he spent seven months in prison. It has to be stressed that seven months ago Musa Sudi introduced himself to the court. He was subjected to violence and threats to his family by the security forces in his home on December 13. The Iranian security forces then applied this pressure so that their deeds had no court order. It is worth mentioning that Musa Sudi, a South Azerbaijani national activist, lives in Erdebil and was arrested along with the activists Jafer Rustami, Ali Ahmadi and Siamak Seifi. Hatem Mermezi, the Arab national activist, died due to torture in Al Ahwaz jail. Hatem Mermezi, an Arab national political activist, lived in the city of Susanjat of Al Ahwaz, was arrested in June by the intelligence forces of Iran and taken to unknown location. The family of Hatim tried many times to obtain information about their child. After one year, last Tuesday, the family was called by the Iranian intelligence and reported the death of their son. According to the reports, 20 years old Hatem Merzami was killed under the tortures of the Iranian security forces. Center for Homeless People was opened in Urmia city of South Azerbaijan. At the meeting, deputy of Urmia city Ali Reza Ratfar announced that the building of the center for the beggars will start soon. He requested that the responsible institution make effort regarding this issue. Ratfar emphasized that there are more than 500 beggars in the Urmia city, and for them opening of the center is very important. The beggars gathered in the center will be kept for a short time and their situation will be investigated. It is necessary to emphasize that the city image looks disturbing because of beggars walking around the city. In the sixth town of Maraga region, South Azerbaijan, there is no enough school buildings for thousands of students. Maraga municipality vice president and Maraga city executive director Hamid Shukri spoke about this in the meeting organized by the Maraga Education Directorate. There are no new schools or educational institutions in the newly built six towns. That's why about 10,000 students living in the area need to come and go every day to study in the city. This creates additional cost for the family, creates traffic congestion in the city and causes many other problems. Shukri stated that only one school was built for the 5,000 houses under the name of Meher with the donation of the philanthropist. The deputy governor of East Azerbaijan added, the area of education per person in Maraga is less than 4 meters. This is a very low figure compared to the average country in the province. It should be noted that in all South Azerbaijani provinces there is a lack of educational institution and school buildings are in ruins. Nevertheless, the government has not taken any measures in this direction, and the vast majority of newly built schools have been built on the personal funds of our local philanthropic citizens. During the World Week of Nature and Environmental Protection in the city of Bilesuvar, South Azerbaijan, trees were brutally cut down. This painful event took place in Mukhan Custom Gates. Iranian Energy Service officer cut dozens of trees. This happened during the planting days of this year. Not even one tree was planted in this region. This terrible incident was compared with the hopelessness of the city struck by the comet. It must be emphasized that in Iran it is considered a crime to cut trees outside of frameworks of law. But when it comes to South Azerbaijan territory, the state itself is doing this and nobody has the power to oppose it. In the Persian regions trees are planted and protected. But in the places such as South Azerbaijan, the oldest trees are cut away and the responsibles close their eyes on these problems. Ali Khamenei, the religious leader of the Islamic Republic of Iran, has ordered Iranian Atomic Energy Department to resume nuclear work. According to this order, the Iranian Atomic Energy Department should start work again to produce fuel for Bushehr nuclear power plant in Iran. According to experts, this fuel can be used not only for nuclear power plant, but also for the nuclear weapon. Under the direction of American President Donald Trump, U.S. withdrew from the nuclear deal with Iran. And the announcement that it will return to the embargo, and even the new ones will be added, led the Iranian state in a difficult situation. Western countries, especially USA, want Iran to stop terrorist activities in the region, and not to interfere in the internal affairs of the neighboring countries. But Iran does not want to step back in any way at all. 
Iran prefers to pursue ideological adventures instead of getting along with the countries of the region, entering the prosperity and happiness of their people. Many Western companies already announced that they are getting out of the Iran. Boeing Aircraft Company has announced that it will no longer sell aircraft to Iranian state. In this case, the Iranian authorities, instead of acting with respect to international rules, take the decision to continue terrorist activities and start a nuclear war again. This decision gives the United States the opportunity to exert more pressure on Iran and even forces some European countries trying to work with Iran to stand against it. It is already known that the Iranian economy is extremely critical and the strikes and protests have become an everyday event. It is a serious concern of how long the economy can last with the new embargoes and internal policies of Iran. South Azerbaijan Turks are one of those who experiences this policy in the most severe way. South Azerbaijani Turkish leaders are now explicitly saying that they do not want to rely on Iranian oppressive and colonial state because it gives nothing but a disaster to South Azerbaijan. It was all news for this week. See you next Saturday on Arasdion's English.